I'm going to talk about the sequel to 2000 Maniacs, the 2005 film, which is basically a reboot of the original 2000 Maniacs film. In this movie, we have a shakeup with the cast. We have Bill Mosley taking over the role of the mayor, who was played by a different actor in part one, played by Robert England, who is no stranger to horror. He is in the Nightmare on Elm Street movies, along with others. Now, this movie, we have the maniacs. They are basically ghosts from that bygone era who are basically cursed to the land and every year have a jubilee, basically bringing in fresh meat, aka wandering people and vacationers and whatnot, and having a jubilee and a feast for them. But this time around, unfortunately, the tourists aren't coming in as well, so they decide to rent a vehicle and drive off somewhere else where there's fresh meat. So <laughs> best not to best not to take this one seriously. Um, I'm not sure how ghosts can get a vehicle and move on from the cursed ground, but hey, this plot revolves around uh, basically two spoiled young ladies. They're basically like similar to Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie in their The Simple Life. It's basically a spoof of those reality shows uh, from several years ago. And them, plus with their boyfriend and with the crew, uh, it's basically a motley crew. None of them get along. They're basically all in and for the fame, uh, trying to shoot more. Unfortunately for them, they end up stranded, I think somewhere in Iowa, and the next day they find this setup of tents and whatnot made up of the maniacs. So and the producer of the show sees a golden opportunity to film some stuff with the maniacs and pitch it as a reality show. And unfortunately for them, they don't know what the maniacs have up their sleeve and they are basically guests for the Jubilee. And you don't want to be a guest for that feast. Now, right off the bat, this movie definitely had issues with money after the opening sequences. I feel like they didn't have as much money for this film as part one. Unfortunately, they had to work on a basically a low budget, lower than the first one. Um, sadly, they are not only tasked with acting, a lot of the cast had to double as the crew and they had to do the lighting, they had to do the sound. And it was a very hard shoot because you would have the mosquitoes and the bugs from the summer heat. You had the airplanes going overhead which would unfortunately, you know, mess up their sound design and filming of the scenes. And despite all that, you know, I still really like this movie uh, for what it is. Um, I feel like they probably did have to cut some corners with the production, you know, of the town and whatnot in the setup and just, you know, trying to film it and... You have the cast doubling as a crew, uh, trying to get this film made. So it's kind of admirable in a way, but, you know, in a way it's a shame that, you know, they could only work with so much budget. But despite that, I really liked it. Um, I thought it was interesting with the reality TV show uh, angle and whatnot. And the movie's only about 78 minutes long. Um, and most of the cast does return from the 2005 one. Uh, like I said, Robert England does not return. Uh, his role is played by Bill Mosley, who is no stranger to horror. Um, and of course you have Lynn Shea. And uh, 
other characters from the 2005 one show up again. Um, so despite all its issues, I would still love if they made a part three, but I'm not sure how well this movie did, if that's going to play into uh, the reviews and the reception, you know, or if it's basically killed, you know, the chance for a third film. This was directed by Tim Sullivan, I believe. Um, so despite the budget issues, I liked it. Um, I just wish they didn't have so much budget issues, but I feel like they did the best they could with the budget and with the constraints that they had. Um, in no way am I trashing this movie. I definitely liked it for what it is. I would love to see a part three. I think they did like a comic book, like sequel for it, but I can't remember. I'll have to look that up after this. So let me know what you guys think of the 2005, 2000 Maniacs, and the sequel, Field of Screams. Let me know in the comments, and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye.